All right, so this is an explanation of how an electrical switchgear works. Uh, this one right here, in particular, this is a service grade, service upgrade we're doing in a steel manufacturing plant. So it's uh, it's not finished yet. Obviously, still open everything. So good opportunity to explain it. So first, right here, you have your underground pipes, and this is where the power from the utility comes in, comes down from under here, and they end up coming here and bolting and crimping here. Uh, this one's obviously not done yet, but here's a picture of what it looks like when it's done on another job we did. So they come here, here's your A phase bus, your B phase, your C phase, and your neutral. I'm not even sure if this one's going to have a neutral because this is all just three phase equipment that is feeding. Um, there might be one, but just for future stuff. You have two meters here. This is where, this is the one we're going to be using. Here's the address. Here's where it, um, here's where the meter crimps in. And what happens is it energizes these buses here, it comes up through the meter, and then it comes over here. These buses come across to from the PG&E side to our side, and it goes through this main breaker. This is obviously a lot of equipment, so it's a big 1200 amp breaker. And then it comes here, and these buses, they go across, but you have three buses that are, that are basically energized, your A phase, your B phase, and your C phase. And they end up coming into these breakers right here, and so obviously here you see the A phase, it comes and it feeds. These are three phase breakers, so it comes in, the A phase feeds the A phase side, the B phase feeds the B phase side, and the C phase feeds the C, C phase side. And then the breakers end up looking like this, where you have your brown, orange, yellow, your A, B, and C phase um, breakers. This one right here um, has obviously just different sizes. These are 400 amps, 350s, 225s. Um, and then just a 100 amp as a spare. And uh, and then from there, you just have your sub feeds to go. And these right here are gonna end up going up through here into this gutter and uh, just feeding this steel manufacturing plant. And then of course here, this is your main bonding jumper for your neutral, where the ground is bonded to the neutral in the switch gear. This right here is a switch gear that's finished. Um, this one's a little different. It's a 120, 208. Um, three phase four wire meaning that this one actually does require a neutral and it's just a little bit of a lower voltage but the concepts the same you have your power that comes in here that goes through the meter the buses come over and you have your a b and c buses back in here that feed these three phase breakers so a little different but the concept of all of them are pretty much the same